Hello everyone and welcome back to the unemployment journey where we will be travelling across Europe's major leagues and trying to win as many trophies as possible. Now, it's not gone well. Um, we followed up the 1-0 win over Spartan Prague with a 1-0 win over Den Haag. Um, and you can see there Bruno Costa with a goal to win us that game. But since then, three back-to-back -back losses. Firstly to Harinvan, we didn't play well. They dominated us from the first minute and we just we just kind of let them have it go in the second minute go in the 80th minute nothing nothing more to say about that real betis and this was our first european game and we were thoroughly outclassed here you can see jan hurtado got a hat trick there in the first half and they they simply are just way way better than us there's no more to say we got beat badly and we then followed that up with a 1-0 win well 1-0 loss even against Groningen away but we did follow that up again with a 1-0 win over the Grafschap who you know we should have beaten anyway they're not a very good team uh, which leaves us in 8th with 3 wins 2 draws and 3 losses with a goal difference of 0 five points off fourth already and you know we just need to we just need to improve i think we we needed to have got a bigger squad obviously with the europa league games and that's something that i've been trying to do in the transfer window i'll just take you through the transfers quickly now and you can see there 3.1 million coming in with loads of players leaving on the last day of the transfer window the only one worth noting really is Jesse Hendricks at going up to 900,000 to RZ. Yeah, he's been moved straight into their youth team. We weren't going to make use of him. You can see there he's not the best on his technical stats or mental stats, or even strength and stamina for a defensive midfielder or a centre back. We just weren't going to use him, and he never really played for me in, in those two years. And. We th I thought, you know, at least we can invest that somewhere else. And we have done. Since Gravelon came in on his loan deal, that was the last, I think that was the last transfer that I mentioned. We've then got Gui Azevedo on the right wing. Another loan deal with zero wage, zero fee. And I just thought, some depth on the right wing. He's quick. He can dribble, not got the best output, so 11 passing, 11 crossing. But as a second choice behind Roma, that, it, that does provide us with at least some depth on that right wing. You can see there, three-star current ability, five-star potential. And we just I just wanted someone to come in as an inverted winger inside forward on that right wing just to, just to provide some depth. And that's what exactly what it's there for. And... The one that I'm very happy about, Rainey is back as a star player, five, well, almost five star current ability, definitely five star potential. He's now a wonder kid. You can see there, world class attributes there. I'm surprised he wanted to come back to us on loan. I thought Flamengo were going to use him, but we've got him, we've got him on loan again. I'm going to be converting him to a Mazala, playing on that sort of like left hand side of the midfield. Well, like trio that we've got, and I think he's I think he's going to be an amazing amazing player for us this year. We've got him for the whole season, and we're just going to be making use of him. You can see there's played two games already, both off the bench. Not not the best, but I'm excited to have him here. And I think bringing all this money in, essentially just to pay his loan fee and his wages is perfectly reasonable I th he's the best player we could have got and going into this game against Roma he starts and this is the team that we're going to be going with so we've got Declan Rod in goal high taught at right back with Gravelon and Berdisa at centre back Ramon at left back Danny Post in that holding midfield role ahead of Art Zora who's just not match fit yet then we've got Fidalgo and Rainier in that centre midfield positions there. Neudecker misses out to the bench. 
with, um, which is un unlucky for our player of the year last year. But you know, with these two in the centre of midfield, I think you, know, you can't really have too many complaints there. We've got Rome on the right, Costa on the left, with Pedro Henrique up front through the middle. He's not he's not performed much this season. I think he's not match fit yet, but hopefully he'll start to come good and we can actually get some proper output from him this year. And you can see there Roma with Florenzi out and King is under doubtful. And let's go into this game. I'm fully expecting them to set the game to us. They are much, much better than us. You can see there some top quality players in their team. Pellegrini in there, Zaniolo, Zeko, Kluivert, King is under, does start. But you know, we're at home. We need to turn up and say, you know, let's tell them to prove a point now. And I think this is a really really good opportunity for a lot of the players there just to show that they are worth the money that we've brought them in for for their wages for the loan fees and I want to do well in this group I think it's a difficult difficult group probably the worst that we could have got um, but I want to do well and we've not started well and you can see that King is in there picked up the ball rifle to shot and we got away with that the dominating possession very very early against us and you can see there Mustafi's picked up the ball on the right Pellegrini now back to Mustafi into King Gizunda and they are running rings around us at the moment Spinazzola's picked up on the left he's come inside and his effort is tipped over by Declan Rudd you can see there they've got two thirds of the ball in the opening 12 minutes. Alright, Fidalgo's cleared that. Zaniola's picked it up. And this ball is headed out by Ramon, flicked out again by Bruno Costa. And that's the end of the highlight there. Alright, now another highlight quickly afterwards. King is in the picks that one up. Into Seco, and that's blocked. Fidalgo now. And that's the end of the highlight. But they just keep, they keep on coming at us now. Pellegrini, Hator clears. And Cristante picks it up. Spinatola has the ball, and that's blocked again. Great block by Gravelon. And Hator dispossesses Cloyver. Roma now on the right. Poke that up. Fazio heads that out, and Roma pick up the ball once more. And they are coming at us once again. Mustafi now on the right. He's ball into Cloyver and that's a goal we're one nil down after 17 minutes and we've been thoroughly dominated right here let's go to positive we, we don't actually have anything to lose and we'll just see this one again look they they've only got a few people in the box but it's a great ball in by mustafi good header there high should do better but you know against a team like roma we are naturally going to be finding it tough let's tell them to get creative a little bit but they've got another highlight. It's Pellegrini with a free kick, but it hits the wall. And come on. Alright, we've blocked that out for a throw in. But they're going to keep coming at us. Alright, there's another highlight with 25 minutes into the game. Spinazzola cuts inside once more into Cristante, whose ball out to Mustafi is found. And um, plays inside to Pellegrini. His ball to Clover in open space is found and his effort is right at Declan Rudd. Right, we've got a couple of players looking inspired from me telling them to get creative but you can see there still half an hour into the game with zero efforts on goal but we've got Pedro Henrique breaking and he's got found Bruno Costa on the left and the shot at Paulo Lopez is saved. Right, decent, decent break there and hopefully from a set piece we can create something here. Bruno Costa whips that one in and Spinazzola heads out. Clover heads the second ball out and we've been able to reset. But now we've got another free kick with Bruno Costa. Swings the ball in. Gravelon. Shot is blocked. 
Bruno Costa has got it again, and that's out for a throne. Right, that's better from us. We need to, we need to keep the pressure on. Maybe get a goal back. Hopefully, sneak a point in at home. Rainier with the ball now. Spinazzola clears out his cross. Fidalgo's picked that up. Has played it inside to Danny Post. Back to Gravelon. His ball out to Roma. He nods that down to Fidalgo. Now back to Post. Roma. Pedro Henrique. The ball out to Bruno Costa's found. Fidalgo's got the ball. And that's an equaliser there. Great football from the team. Alvaro Fidalgo with his first ever Venlo goal. He's deserved that. He's been so good for me uh, with a, quite a load of assists. But now he's got his first goal. You can see there. Great ball into Pedro, Bruno Costa. And he's played that out to the edge of the box. Great first touch. And Paulo Lopez had no chance on that. Rifled into the bottom corner. And, you know, for the last couple of minutes, we've deserved that. But we're still under the pressure here. And they are attacking immediately after we've scored. Kloivert's effort from distance is saved by Rudd. And they're still dominating us on the ball. But hopefully on these sort of like counter-attacks... We are looking dangerous. We are getting chances now. Um, hopefully we can create another one with Gravel on now. But his long ball is headed down by Fazio and Roman now have possession. We need to be smarter with the ball. We can't keep knocking long balls up top. We're never going to be able to create anything like that. But Spinazzola has been dispossessed by Hightor. And Pedro Henrique picks it up. He's gone past Fazio. He's got pace. What can he do now? He's on his own. But can he pick out a ball? He does. Mustafa clears. Rainier. And that's his first goal. We are leading against Roma now. Great, great volley by Rainier. And that, that's exactly why I wanted him back in the team. You can see here, Pedro Henrique is running down the right wing. And he's got near, next to no support. His ball over to Pedro Henrique. Well, to Bruno Costa's not found. Mustafi's headed out the ball. Rainier volleyed that into the net. Great, great finish. And do you know what? We've finished this half absolutely fantastically. It was a difficult opening half an hour, but we bounced back in it and we are 2 1 up against Roma. And this is fantastic. Passionate. Let's say, keep it up. Everyone's looking happy about that. I think, do you know what? I think it could be on here. A big, big result could could be on here if we can keep up this level of performance. But they've kicked off here and they are passing it around really, really well. As long as we can keep this for a while in the second half, we can then make some changes, tighten up a little bit. But we just need to make sure we don't concede quickly. And essentially, I'm, I'm hoping at this point just to kill the game off. Um, I have no problems in making any quick changes, anything just to frustrate them. But we've conceded a goal. We've left Edin Zeko, who's the biggest danger man in the box, four set pieces. Kengi's under with the corner. Zeko, his header comes off the underside of the bar. And he's scored. So let's just make some changes. Roma's not playing well at all. So move Bruno Costa onto that right wing. And bring Franchu on on that left. He's not been... He's not been too good for me lately. Has Franchu. He's not got to full fitness yet. And... Oh, we got away with that one there. Um, and I'm just trying to build him up quite slowly. Trying to trying to get the most out of him that I can, but you can see there, Betis have equalised, and they've got another corner. But Franchi clears it out, and Cloyvert's effort from distance is wide of that post. All right, what can we do from here? All right, we're 15 minutes from the end, and what I might do is just make a couple more changes. And take mm, Post as our captain. I don't really want to take him off. Fidalgo's looking tired. Bruno Costa's looking tired. Do you know what? I might actually put 
Oh, I don't even know what to do here because French you can't really play it anywhere else. Don't really want to move Fidalgo out wide. Don't really have another right back for Haito who's not been playing very well on 6.4. Do I think we're just going to have to keep it as it is. We're just going to have to let it go and hopefully play like we did. Right, I'm going to tell them to get creative. That seemed to work last time and for as long as we don't concede right now, which we just about got away with. Alright, we've taken the goal kick and Gravelon's played that long. Pedro Henrique knocks down the header, adds Bruno Costa on the right and what can we do from here? He's playing that back to Danny Post, now to Fidalgo. Hightall now has picked that up on the right wing. Fidalgo now and the ball over has found Bruno Costa and his cross is picked up by Paulo Lopez. Alright, the ball out to King is under found and they're coming at us now with Under and Santon exchanging passes but they're playing it between themselves and we're not getting anywhere near the ball Pellegrini, oh that's a fantastic finish by Lorenzo Pellegrini and they've gone 2-1 up alright let's go, something a little bit drastic here let's move Rainier there Post in there as a defensive centre midfielder we'll put him as a Mazzala Fidalga actually do you know what we'll do we'll move, it, we'll move him this way so we can come in on this side when Franchu comes in and then we'll take Fidalgo off for Neudecker and then we'll take Pedro Henrique off for Xavitor and we'll have him as an advance forwards Right, we need to do something here. And let's demand some more. Let's go attack. We've got nothing to lose. Just go attacking. Try and get a goal. If we go 4 2 down, doesn't. Well, four, we almost did there. I mean, they've dominated us. You can see on the stats there. We've only had five efforts on goal, and they've had 23. And they've had 57% of the ball. Thoroughly dominated. But if we can sneak a quick goal right at the very end, then I'd be very, very happy with that. But they are coming at us thick and fast with quick fire corners. And King is under. Again, whips an out swinger in. But Diso clears that one out. Mustafi picks it up. Cristante on the ball now. And that's been blocked out for a throw in. Alright, Ramon with a free kick and it's foul Franchu on the left. What can he do now? We've won a corner and we've just gotten into the three minutes of stoppage time. And Bruno Costa will whip in this ball. But Diso but Diso's got it. And that's three all great delivery in by Bruno Costa and Guillermo Berdiso with his second goal of the season. Nods that in and you'll see that again into the near post and he flicks that on Paolo Lopez couldn't get a fingertip on that and just sneaks into the net and we are 3-3 against AS Roma with a minute and a half to go and they've come right at us again it's blocked oh, we've lost it Edin Dzeko with a wonder goal from distance Pellegrini into Zeko, who's very, very deep there, and he, no one picks him up at all. The ball is blocked, and he's just rifled that into the bottom corner. And it wasn't even a minute from the goal. Right, Gravelon nods that one out. And that's that's surely going to be it. We've played almost five, two minutes additional, and there we go. That's that's the end of the game. We've lost four three to Roma, gutting goal right at the end. We should have done better right from kickoff, but it just was never meant to be. And do you know what? We would have been so lucky to get that point there, but 
that's going to be it for this episode and what we might do is come back for maybe either that Betis game or the Marseille game I think what we might do is we'll do the Marseille game next and then in December we'll do something a bit late on and see where we are before the little winter break but that's going to be it for this episode thank you so much for watching and please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for future episodes and you know we haven't I haven't put a like target on things before but let's see if we can get to five likes um, the first episode got I think maybe seven or eight so five likes would be the next best and I think that'll be an amazing achievement if we actually if we actually can get it so I'll see you next episode and thank you